Yeah, it's your boy Fist in his ass, bringing out a great edition of Ground War Domination 9v9 A Resistance with my boy right there. You see him running. Fear Moho. Fear in, fear in the house. Fear is in the house. I um, think he had to leave like halfway through this game, but we were gaming together, you know. Well, you're fist of cuffs, you can't. You can't game with no pros. You're not any good. Wah, 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 wah. Bok, bok, chicken here. Bok, 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 bok. All the Hayden. Shut up. You know, shit. I know everybody in the community. I went to Call of Duty call con I was there where all the pro players were at. We all played together. When people act like that, I fucking fell off a turnip truck or something. You're such a, you're such a scumbag. <laughs> no, anyways, I don't want to go into that direction. I, I, I really, I want to talk about the game seriously. But um, I was using the AK-47, the delicious la 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 AK-47. Ah, the the AK-47. Yes. And. Uh, and Fear Moho was like, yo, use that P99, dawg. He said, that, he said, that's what we use in the pro tournaments. And uh, I was like, alright, let me check it out. I was, This is like before I was like, I got raped by the FMG9s. I was like, fuck that. The FMG9s are pub rape specialists. So, you know, mad props to my boy Fear Moho. You know, check him out. He's got his channel, Fear Moho. Um... He's pretty cool dude, down to earth. I think he's like the only pro player I talk to every other day or something like that. Um, Cause I always like to get his inside tips on things, you know. And then like, I take parts and bits and pieces from everybody. And then I, I make up my own like, style and technique. You know like, I'll, I'll take bits and pieces from Mark J, I'll take bits and pieces from Fear Moho. I'll um... I like sometimes I'll just like watch random people's videos like I don't even know who they are and I'll watch their videos and I'm like hmm that's pretty good I'm gonna have to steal that idea so you know then I just make my own stuff up I mean that's what I expect some of you guys to do here I mean obviously it's working for me so you know that's that's all I could really say a la resistance! A la resistance! <laughs> oh, come with us, the resistance! When you're playing single player, it's like, like the French people are always running around <laughs> in the sewers below the ground. Let's go to the sewers! Yes, we will stop the enemy! Like, fuck it. Why do you guys keep running to the sewer? <laughs> like, fight people and stop surrendering in the beginning of the fucking war. What's wrong? It seems like they always got the wrong people in their military. Nothing against the French people. I love French bread. French bread is the bomb. When you go to Jimmy John's and you get fucking the gargantuan with French bread, that shit is the bomb. I'm not gonna lie. It is. So anyways, you see me here, I'm running around with a pistol. I'm going, um, let me try this P99 pistol. It's so wonderful. And then I get my ass waxed. And I'm like, damn it. It just doesn't seem strong enough. Like, you pull out the little pistol. It's better when the guy comes out with two FMG9s. You're like, try to fuck with me now. I dare you. I double dare you and then you know but then I, I do appreciate the it seems like every fucking patch they come out with don't fuck up my AK-47 you understand what I'm saying over there at Infinity Ward if you guys are gonna start doing these lag compensation bullshit listen I pay for an internet connection and if you're not gonna give me dedicated servers then give me my due I would rather have the people that have the connections that pay for the fucking shit. Listen, you already made the game easy mode. At least let the people who pay for their shit that play the game seriously. I mean, you know, fanatically. I wouldn't say seriously. This video game, how are you going to play it seriously? But fanatically, if we pay for the internet connection, come on, let, let, us, let us get that. Let us get that Modern Warfare 2 shit. I would love... The best networking ever was Modern Warfare 2. Bam, game started. Whoever had the best host, running shit, running shit. Not in this game. Oh, lag compensation. No, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put a, we're gonna put a govern on your, your shit is too fast, Fisticuffs. 
We're gonna govern it down so you can be a three bar with everybody else, and we're gonna nullify everything else in the game. It's not gonna be worth anything now. The silencers. I mean, listen. When you bring the game down to three bars, silencers are irrelevant. Irrelevant. What else is irrelevant? I mean, half the fucking game is irrelevant. You need four bars. That's when you test the game. You cannot test the... That's why we need beta. This is the problem. I'm pissed right now. You know, because they don't want to make the changes. They would rather... They, they don't want to go in and make the changes properly with the beta testing then coming out and throwing a patch uh, we want listen it, it only makes viable sense in the fact that okay we're gonna make one billion dollars if we release a beta then it's gonna cost us 10 million dollars to change the game the way everybody wants us to change the game versus okay religious we'll just release it and we'll fucking put a patch out and it only costs us fifty thousand dollars for the patch every other patch so it's like it's cost effective and then they try to patch the game up and then just oh we'll just make a new one and we'll tell everybody hey modern warfare 4 we fixed all the problems but we're not gonna beta test it and we still want to make a billion dollars man it's come on man you can't i'm telling you right now I'm telling you right now, Respawn Entertainment and uh, these other guys, it just, people are waiting. I'm going to tell you what, that new Xbox comes out, some developers are going to come along and they're just going to take Call of Duty's idea and make it better and they're going to steal it from you. Just like that old ass Halo on the old original Xbox software. That shit got stolen by the Xbox, the new Xbox 360 when it came out took your shit right from you like give it to me it's mine that's what's gonna happen 720 comes out another developer i hope it's ea some i don't know i don't want ea touching shit because they just fuck everything up but i hope it's somebody else that comes along and said maybe bethesda makes a shooting game bethesda would be great make an awesome ass shooting game and it'd probably be a winner you know that's, that's all i'm saying you know you you, you can't you can't, you can't do that to people. You can't penalize people for having great connections. It's not my fault that I can afford to have a connection. I don't even have a great connection. There's people out there with files, 25, 25. I mean, shit, if I had that, I mean, you can't penalize people for the area that they live in or the connection they have. That's bullshit. You know, putting lag compensation, just fucking bull. That, now everybody's suffering. Oh, you got DSL. That's not the way the game was built or tested or made to be ran on. Anyways, that's my rant for today. I'm pretty upset about it. I'm tired of it. Like, literally, if you want to find out, now, it, listen, if you are a person with a great internet connection and you can manually change um, your router, specific codes for the router, and you want to be ahead of everybody else, Follow me on Twitter and link below. Ask me for the router, um, the router. I don't want to say coordinates. I don't want to say coordinates, but the router numbers. And I will, I will tweet those out to you if you ask this for me. If you have a, if you're one of those people who have a good connection and you're tired of the bullshit connection, I will tweet that back to you because there's people that tell me a fist you could change like this, but I do it a completely different way that, that is that is uh, governed. A different way mine like surpasses all of that but anyways if you're looking to do that then I'll help you out just follow me on Twitter and uh, I'm doing everything I can to make your Call of Duty experience better you know it's a sad thing I mean I look back at the games like Homefront I had this conversation with NASA Homefront and uh, Battlefield 3 these games are just too late I mean it's like they still are stubborn like taking their company's money and keep making shit that was like five years ago man fucking do 60 frames per second rip call of duty's idea off and make it better what's so hard about that make a better version shit i've seen call of duty 4 a mod for the computer star wars that was a better than the original call of duty 4 that people are playing what's so i mean i don't get it 
Why are dev why are developers so stubborn? Why? I mean, you I mean Battlefield 3 has got a great game. The sound is impeccable. The game is a great game. But you are in the wrong place at the wrong time. You're in a different dimension. Your game is in a different dimension. You need to make a game that that is better than Call of Duty, but is Call of Duty. Then change it from there. I I, I don't know how much more I don't, I don't I don't know how much more people can take. To be honest with you, I don't know. But anyways, I'm completely pissed off. A billion dollars spent for a a, a, a a engine that's already been developed for five years. That's pure profit. We need servers. This game would be there would be no complaints if there were servers. They test the game. Um. You know, basically, like dedicated servers, why give us the game half ass? Give us dedicated servers and we your score. It's your boy Fist. Until next time, do it like I do. Peace, and I'm out.